Hi, I'm Emily and I'm going to show you how to make a cake in the shape of a Mercedes car. I've baked a chocolate sheet cake and cut it into three equal parts. This is a third of the sheet cake on a cake board. I'm trimming it to make it completely flat and piping mint buttercream onto it as the filling. Now I'm placing another third of the cake on top and leveling that too. Another layer of mint buttercream filling and the final third of cake, trimmed to be shorter than the others, makes the top of the car. I'm trimming this to mimic the shape of a sedan, using a sketch I scribbled earlier to check that the angles look good. I'm tidying up the sides and the top, and now it's time to trim the cake board to the size of the cake. I'm using a round cookie cutter to cut out holes for the wheels. A little more trimming and then the cake goes in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Now it's nice and firm so I can frost it without pieces of cake coming off on my spatula. I'm using 4 pounds of fondant, or about 1.75 kilos, and I'm kneading it to make it soft and pliable. I'm adding black gel colour, just a little bit because it goes a long way. Now it's a nice shade of grey. I've rolled out my fondant and it's ready to go. Place the fondant gently over the cake, and one section at a time, lift the fondant and smooth it against the side of the cake. I'm using a sharp knife to indent the fondant where the doors go. And now I'm adding the windows. Use a small block of wood or styrofoam under the cake to raise the car slightly. Use paint or a marker to make the block black so it looks like a shadow under the cake. The ball tool is great for making the indents where the door handles go. Use the big ball to make the initial indent and then the small ball to press the corners out. This square is for the petrol tank door and this indentation is for the license plate. I'm using my knife to mark out the rear windscreen and the boot or trunk of the car. Sharpening up the edges and marking the rear lights, exhaust pipe, windscreen, headlights, and bonnet or hood. I'm pushing the fondant in where the lights will go so that they'll be flush with the cake instead of sticking out. These black discs of fondant will be the tires. I'm using my ball tool again to make an indent for the hubcap and a small round frosting tip to make little holes in the hubcaps and then widening them to make them triangles. If you have a triangle tool, great, you can use that. But I'm showing you that you can improvise with whatever tools you have on hand. You don't have to own every tool invented. This is a slightly bigger round tip, which I'm using to mark a little circle in the centre of each hubcap. And now the point of a petal cutter to make grooves on the tyres. Little details to make the car look more realistic. This is edible silver luster dust mixed with clear alcohol to paint the hubcaps, Mercedes sign, door handles, exhaust pipe and the grille. These black strips are fondant top of the grill too. I'm using water on a paintbrush to stick the handles onto the doors. This is pearl dust mixed with clear alcohol to make a paint that will give the car a metallic sheen. It's going all over the cake, except for the windows and the windscreens. I'm attaching the side mirrors with toothpicks and painting the pearl shimmer on them as well. Now for the wheels. I've painted a bit of water where they're going to go so they stick nicely. The windows and windscreens are going to be tinted, so I'm painting them with black gel colour. After about an hour, the pearl shimmer has started to dry, so it's still sticky enough for the details to attach nicely, but not so wet that they slide off. A few more details and the cake is finished! This is how it turned out. If you follow this tutorial to make your cake, tag British Girl Bakes on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cake tutorials every week.